Carrie, Kyle talks about how you should always be yourself, not to try to be anyone else. How important is it for you to have a head coach that has that philosophy and then also to make sure that he's look, you all are looking out for each other and your mental health as you stay in Arizona for an extended period of time? Oh, it's big. You know, he, uh, obviously he cares about us and, uh, and as a team, I think that we, um, we really care about each other. It's not just a football thing. I think it's a real brotherhood. So I want to make sure everyone has the right mindset and everyone's just, you know, uh, just feeling good. You know, it's a big transition and it's different for a lot of, a lot of people. So just to be there for each other is good. Carrie, do you have things that you do uh, to kind of calm yourself mentally or, or focus if you do start to feel like, oh my gosh, we're here for three weeks and that feels like a really long time? Well, you know, I'm a real chill person. So like, I enjoy just like watching movies and like sitting in a hotel. So you know, I got my feet up right now, you know. I can't say the same for everyone else, but for me, I'm, I'm a homebody. So it doesn't really change. My day-to-day -day doesn't change much. Harry, are you exceeding the goals you set for yourself at the beginning of the season? Uh, I don't know if you heard, but the only goal I had was the, to kind of garner some respect amongst the league. And uh, I never had like a number goal or anything like that. So I think I'm able to, to start and play games. I think that I, I'm able to do that. So that's the only goal I had. So you tell me. <laughs> Here it appears that the attitude on the defense is one that likes to shoulder the weight of being responsible for a win. So when the offense does turn the ball over, it happens to, it seems like you guys kind of almost revel in that kind of a responsibility to take care of it on the field. Yeah, we, uh, we, we as a team, you know, there's going to be games where we have to pick each other up. And uh, I think that both sides of the ball, special teams included, that we're up for the challenge whenever someone needs help, that we're, we have each other's back. Kerry, how much of your success this year uh, do you believe is just a matter of getting a, a real opportunity and how much of it is getting an opportunity in the particular place with the coaches and the team that you're with? Well, I, you never want to downplay coaching. Like coaches are always there and they always help you better, help you become better as a player. You know, they're always there making sure you're in the right, right uh, places to make plays and put you in the right situations to, you know, to, to attribute to the team. But I also want to highlight that uh, I, I, with the opportunity, I think I've, I've stepped up to the challenge and I think that I'm, I'm playing well because of it. Kerry, you mentioned respect. Do you feel that opposing teams are beginning to show you that respect with the way they block you or do you feel, still feel you're slept on? Uh, I'm not sure about that. You know, I, I'm just going 100% and whatever shows up, I'm trying to defeat that. So I would compare Josh Allen to a young Cam Newton. And you guys have had your struggles this season just against mobile quarterbacks in general. What do you see from a guy like Josh Allen? And what type of challenges does he present, especially just the way he extends plays? Well, he has an arm on him and he can make, uh, he can make plays happen with his feet. So, uh, you know, it's always a challenge when you're, when you're going against a dual threat quarterback. You got to kind of count him like an extra running back out there when he has the ball in his hand. But I think as a group, we'll, we'll be able to corral him and try to make plays. But it's going to take the whole group to, to stop a guy like that. Last one, please. Richard Sherman has been an advocate of Robert Sala becoming a head coach in the, next, in the near future. What do you, what in your opinion, what is it about him that makes him such a dynamic coach? Um, I have to say he's, he's a leader of men. He's able to, to listen to the players and uh, he gets us in the right places to make plays. And uh, I think he adjusts well. And I think he's a great coach, man. I, I'm really excited to see what the future has for him.